Hello students, in this video we'll discuss discrete dynamical systems. Let's consider two sequences x0, x1, x2, xn, like so, and y0, y1, y2, yn, etc. And suppose that there's a linear relationship between these things. Suppose further that xn plus 1 is a xn plus b y n, and yn plus 1 is c x n plus d y n. So this is a discrete dynamical system, linear dynamical system, discrete linear dynamical system. Okay. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this discrete dynamical system and we're going to write it as a matrix equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to write this as a vector. I'm going to write this as x n plus 1, y n plus 1 is equal to the matrix A, A, B, C, D, X, N, Y, N. So of course this exact structure can be written as a matrix equation over here. And then what I can do is I can iterate this and I want to go down all the way to zero, right? So in particular what we can say is we can say that if I do this n times, if I do this one more time I could say that I can apply the same recursion again and say this is going to be A, B, C, D quantity squared, and then one further, x, n minus 1, y, n minus 1. Go down one more step, you can have a, b, c, d cubed, and then we'll have x, n minus 2, and then y, n minus 2. And then we see in general that this formula tells us if I just keep iterating this over and over and over again, if I go down all the way to zero, that's going to correspond to a k. So if I can do this in general, it becomes what? It becomes all the way down to a, b, c, d to the power k. And then what's left over here is going to be x, n, minus k, plus 1, y, n, minus k, plus 1, right? Let's just check to make sure this works. Of course, when k is equal to 3, but when k is equal to 2, for example, this is going to be a minus 2, so it's going to be a minus 1, so that's exactly what we get, right? Excellent. And so if I plug in k equals n plus 1, what will I get? So this tells me that this sequence over here, so hence by iterating this, I'm just going to shift the indices to make this a little bit easier. We can conclude from this that x to the n, y, n is equal to a, b, c, d to the power n, and then x of 0, y of 0, the initial distribution of those points over here. So now the question becomes is, when can I efficiently do this calculation for these discrete systems over here? Well, the idea is the following. So suppose that A, which is A, B, C, D, is equal, is, is diagonalizable, so I can write this as P lambda 1, 0, 0, lambda 2, P inverse, right? And if we can diagonalize A, so this is called diagonalizing A, A is diagonalizable, then what we can show is we can show that A, therefore A to the power K, or A to the power N, is P, lambda 1 to the N, 0, 0, lambda 2 to the N, P inverse, okay? Because all the P's and the P inverses intermediate, those things will cancel out. And therefore, the solution of this, in the case when A is diagonalizable, is going to have the following form. So if A is diagonalizable, if diagonalizable, That the conclusion, therefore, is that xn, yn is equal to p, which I'm going to write in this way. I'm going to write this as vw, and then lambda 1 to the power n, 0, 0, lambda 2 to the power n, and then p inverse applied to the initial condition over here. So we're going to have this p inverse matrix over here, vw inverse applied to x0, y0. And so this thing over here is going to turn into something new, which we're going to call x0 tilde, y0 tilde. So call this thing over here x0 tilde, y0 tilde, right? And then, of course, what this is going to do is just if we foil this out, foiling this whole thing out is going to be x0 tilde, then lambda 1 to the power n v, plus y0 tilde times lambda 2 to the power n 
W, right? And so now, of course, asymptotically, well, how do we figure out what the asymptotic behavior of this dynamical system is, right? Let's suppose without, suppose, if for instance, suppose, here's a proposition, if lambda 1 in absolute value is bigger than lambda 2, then what can we say? I can factor out our solution over here, our xn, y, xn, yn, is going to be I'll pull out a lambda 1, Take this predominant term over here, pull lambda 1 to the n out, and then you have x0 tilde, and then v, plus what? Plus, if I pull a lambda 1 out, we're going to have a lambda 2 over lambda 1 to the power n, y0 tilde, w. Now, of course, what do we know about lambda 2 over lambda 1 in absolute value? In absolute value, these terms over here are approaching 0. So as n goes to infinity, these terms approach 0. So asymptotically, these terms are the terms that are prevailing as n goes to infinity. Because these terms over here are tending to the 0 vector, tend to the 0 vector as n goes to infinity. So these are the asymptotically predominant terms in the discrete dynamical system. In further videos, we'll see examples of particular examples of these discrete dynamical systems that correspond to the Fibonacci sequence and other sort of predator-prey models. Thank you very much.